what do we want to do today? I'm having trouble deciding. A part of me still wants to go and get all this done, but to be honest, it's not going to be make much for an exciting episode. So I'm thinking that in the interest of getting this episode out at a reasonable time, I'm going to do all that off camera after I finish today's episode because I really want it to get done just like you guys. And just to reiterate what I'm doing there, I'm going to be replacing all the dirt with actual stone bricks and I'm going to be using the pattern that I did there on the other three tubes because that's the only one that has the the correct pattern so far. And then I'm also going to be staggering the sign so that spiders can still, so that spiders can get up and everything can still breathe on the way up. Uh, so I'll show you what I'm talking about, uh, probably once it's done, if you don't understand what I mean. So you can look forward to that tomorrow. But that does not mean that there's any shortage of stuff for, what's this doing right here? Why is this piece of, I don't remember putting that there. It does not mean that there's any shortage of stuff for us to do today. Um, the first and most important thing was, I forgot to actually put a water source block in the alchemy room, which I guess we're gonna, you know, that, that, that's gonna cause problems. I forgot what I was looking for. Oh, that's right, my, my meat supply is running pretty low here, so I'm gonna trade out for some melons, and hopefully that'll, hopefully that'll do me for a while. Um, I like grabbing, oh yes, yes, blue wool, because I want to replace that one piece of ground right there. That one little, little piece that Wooly fell through yesterday. But it's cool. We found him. He found his way back. All right, that's in place. <clears throat> um, and all right, bucket of water, bucket of water, and then some tools to work with. What? What does it look like up there? It's all stone bricks and normal stone with a little bit of wood, isn't it? So stone bricks, normal stone, and probably more wood than this. Oh, shit! Oh, darn it. How about, yeah, stack 45 is going to do it. And head up there and see where we want to put our water source block. And then, of course, this is only going to take a few seconds, but once we're done with, done with this, I want to... Oh, you know what? Before I even do that, I got a, a wonderful suggestion from... Well, actually from a lot of people, but I got a suggestion from Scolding Whisper, which was to just make all crafting tables. Instead of what I have uh, with the one crafting table right next to the, 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 what do you call it, the brewing stand. Just have four crafting tables and have that be the actual bench itself. And then maybe get around to having more brewing stands. But I'm pretty short on blaze rods, and granted, I don't have any other use for them. I mean, I know you can throw them in a furnace, but I got coal for days, so that's not going to be an issue. Um, but yeah, go ahead and replace these with the crafting tables, and that'll be a slightly more a more fitting work area for our room here. So yeah, that, that looks a little bit better. Then we can have a few more of these once we actually start getting the supplies for it, once I get the blaze rod grinder. Though, the way it's going, uh, that's going to be one of the last things to get done on the to-do list. Where do we want to put our infinite source at? Um, I guess we can just throw it in this corner here and just say to hell with this cauldron. That makes sense. Uh, like that. Because I don't really, I can't really think of any other place to put this in this room. Uh, would you stop that, Doris? Although, I do like how you fly open like that. It looks great. Um, yeah, okay, well, I guess this is good for now. I forgot to bring my other flowers and mushrooms on me. These are just being a pain. I might just say the hell with the mushrooms and just put flowers over here because, yeah, as soon as I remember to do that. Uh, because it's too annoying having to worry about the different lighting in this area, I think, all the time. See that vine is finally growing a little bit. It's going to start looking pretty sexy in there really soon. And then the next thing I want to do is go ahead and make Creeper Creek slightly safer. Because that soul sand has been bad to us for a while. I've died on that stuff like two times. So I need to grab a shovel and some sort of wool. I don't know what color wool I want. Uh, busted shovel. Slightly busted shovel. It's not going to take too much here. There we go. And head back here, see what type of wool we want. Uh, let me look at it first, before I settle on anything. I guess brown wool. Uh, let's see. Hmm, would brown wool look good right there? I guess, or green would sort of blend in. Blue would be the water. Um, let's see what color options I have available to me. Uh, don't want to be purple, it could be brown. Or gray, cyan, orange, it's all too bright. Lime green. 
although, no, I think, yeah, it'll probably look best as either brown or green. But which one? I think brown. Just, it'll, that way it'll sort of keep the same motif that the Soul Sand has, which I kind of like. That sort of dark color to go along with this. But it won't kill us when we run into it. Well, all right. Creeper Creek is looking pretty good here. I do, while we're on this subject of doing all these fancy editing fades and whatnot, also want to go ahead and do the sheeps one more time because that is going to need to be a constant concern of ours until we get our lighthouse built. What is a zombie doing right there? How did you get there, zombie? Did you spawn right here? It looks slightly dark right here, but no, you need to be dead, as I worry about where you spawned at. That's so mean of you. I need to come to this lighthouse on a regular basis. We can't have zombies just spawning. Well, actually, probably not that regular, but still, you get the idea. It's very rude of you. Man, that looks gorgeous. Hold on, let me let me set up a shot right here, right there with the moon coming up, or going down, I guess. I was sitting on the other side, this would look probably pretty sexy with the sun going up around it. Um, yeah, we probably want to go back inside the sheep farm. I haven't actually grabbed the wool yet. All I did was turn it on, and then that zombie caught my attention. Either way, oh, the wool's still flowing, so we actually didn't waste any time at all. Let's see how much we got. Oh, I'm curious. Um, well, first of all, I'm curious. I'm even going to have inventory space for all of this. But I sort of wanted to just grab it all at once. Is it is it done? All right, let's see what happens if we jump in an eye. Bam! <laughs> that is a lot of wool, and that left me one whole entire inventory slot. Awesome. Uh, so we can leave here, and this is actually another thing I'm probably going to worry about off-camera today. I could I could have done all the stuff before today's episode, but it probably would have pushed back the release time by about two hours, which I imagine most people would not want, because my episodes do already come out pretty late. And if you're ever wondering why that is, it's because... Why is that skeleton right there? Where'd you, where'd you come from? I guess this spot right here is kind of dark. And this spot, I guess... Do something. Alright, you want to play like that, do you? Aha! Have at thee, vile fiend! <laughs> okay, what was I saying? Yes, uh, the reason my episodes come out late is because, probably unlike most other Let's Players, I try to keep my episodes as live as possible. So when you're watching an episode, usually, like... Like, 90% of episodes have been filmed that morning, when a lot of people generally just play on the weekend, and then they film the week's episodes. I try to keep mine as live as possible so that I can have as much... We really need to raise that up. As much viewer feedback as I can get, because I do enjoy responding to to viewer comments and feedback and questions and things like that. Uh, so what do I... Well, first off, this needs to be done. So, I mean, I could just... Do that differently. I could just place it a solid, but since I already had the half there, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, glass. I have 11 whole pieces. And hopefully that's going to make them at least stop dying for now. And then we can have that be the piston level. But before I, like I said, before I resp uh, put any more work into the, the end of this thing, I want to make sure that all the different sides and stuff are ready. So that's probably what we're going to do tomorrow. But with the rest of the day, let's see. We did the alchemy room, the soul sand. Um, I did. Oh, i got to put my wool away, I guess. And I still need to hit up that other sheep farm so I can do that. So the only thing that's really left uh, that I wrote out specifically that I wanted to do today. I don't need you. And I also do not need that one cauldron. Where are you at, cauldron? I should just sit in the corner. Think about what you've done been a bad cauldron. Um, where's, where's Cluckenstein? There's Cluckenstein. Yeah, good Cluckenstein. Oh. Okay, skeleton. Now you are two hits away from death, correct? Uh, we still need to half slab that, don't we? Uh, half slab. There we go. At least temporarily, anyway. There and there, and then I got these two different levels set up. And one and two. It's gonna kill you. Perfect. So, that's good. I should probably get around at some point to, in the near future, to enchanting, now that I do semi... It's not complete, but I have somewhat of this experience farm done, and I'd like to try and get Silk Touch. 
but I don't know. I tried doing some food break. Nom 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 nom. I tried doing some testing to see if I can, if it's possible to get Silk Touch with just spending one level of experience, and I was not able to get it after trying like 20 times, um, on my on my my in my test run. So, if anyone knows, like, the best way to get Silk Touch without spending, like, 30 levels of experience, um, that would be awesome, because somewhere along the line, there's got to be, like, an efficiency threshold of where it's best. Even if I'm just using Stone Picks, I mean, I don't need to do much with Silk Touch. Um, I can't imagine needing more than just a few things, like moving grass blocks around or, or, or grabbing. I guess I should do it with Iron Picks, too. That way I could... I don't, I don't know if it takes long... longer... Um, that's another question I don't have. Well, I'll, I'll worry about that later. I just, for now, want to worry about the sheeps. Uh, get the white wool, and we got the, the wheat farms about ready to be harvested as well. So, we'll try and get around to that after this is done. Hello, my babies! I know, you all want your haircuts, don't you? What are you doing out there, Piggy? How come you're not chilling with the sheep? Oh, Piggy! He's so outcast! So he's all alone out there. How'd you even get out there? I thought I didn't know I had any free roaming pigs. Maybe I had one or two. Huh? Because I thought it was only sheep that escaped the clutches of my farm. Uh, give me all of your wool. Thank you very much. Got all of you guys. And get out of way, please, if you would. And how much wool do we have? Fifty-one. That's right. We said we were gonna breed more sheep, and I never got around to doing it. So that's what I want to do. And then as soon as I'm done. Getting this layer of wheat and zombie. Getting that layer of wheat. Let's go ahead and crank that here. Go ahead and so I have I've got that other set of white wool. I should probably start using fairly soon. Uh, but where's that wheat at? Here it is. Let's step outside. I'm sure you can be turned off now. Step outside and see how much of this wheat we can get. Oh no, is it gonna make it all? No, just barely. Just barely didn't make it. That is a shame. What? 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 What happened here? That's, oh, you know what? I forgot. I retrieved um, one of my one of the escapees was roaming around this area. Uh, that's 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 probably what happened right here. Unless it was a like a random spawning creeper. I thought it was just Cluckenstein that was back here, and I don't believe chickens trample crops. So mm, maybe that means some more of this needs to be well lit because all this stuff should not be trampled right now. Uh, there's no no clear reason for that to be the case. Uh, oop, there we go. And all of our seeds are done. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now our wheat at the ready, if you would please. Hello, wheat. Would you like to get eaten by sheep? I think you would. Look at all the sheep that love wheat. Yes, yes, eat all of the wheat. Breed, make little sheep babies. Oh, it's been a while since the farm has seen any babies, hasn't it? Is everyone, everyone good? No, you two? Need, no, not you two? Okay, I think all the sheep are pretty much good, right? Yep, nope, I don't see any more hearts. We got a whole bunch of babies. We just increased our sheep count by 50%. Pigs, you really don't need to breed. Do you know why you don't need to breed? Because I have no use for you, piggies. I'm sorry. I have no use for you. And on that note, why aren't you popcorning anymore? You're supposed to be the popcorn piggies. Do you, no? You're acting all all nonchalant, like you just don't care that I'm carrying wheat. Oh, there they go. Moving at it. That is creepy. Look at all those eyes staring at you. All those pork eyes. And go away. <laughs> ah, piggies. Uh, okay, so we bred our white sheep. Let's go get some tools for finishing the boathouse, and... God, you know, it's been so long, I don't even remember where we left off on the boathouse, so I want to go look at that first, and... Let's kill this guy. Uh, really? Three hits? That's so weird. It's so... It's so inconsistent. It should be at least, like, either two... With multiple, whatever, I'm not going to worry about it until I get that thing done. I need to stop talking about it anyway. It's just, it's just bothering me, and I'm not getting anything done until it's done bother. Okay, so what did I still have left to do here? That's right, I need a little bit more wood, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces of glass, and I think I have ten in there. 
Although I should probably start cooking more. Um, and then I want to have more wood and some crafting tables. Maybe like a uh, redstone. I'll, I'll just bring a whole bunch of wood with me. Because I have, I have stuff to do in there. And I don't know exactly what it is that I have to do. So let me try and... Well, let's first, first let's put on some jams. Uh, what do we want to hear? Oh, um, oh, oh, there we go. Uh, we got Ward, Cat, Blocks, Mellow, He, and... No one listens to 13. It's not even a real song. It's like cave crawling stuff. Uh, we just listened to Melohi. So either Blocks or Ward. I think I'm in a Blocks sort of mood. Go ahead and pop you in, and then I need to start cleaning out my inventory and then gathering supplies to build the boathouse. Okay, the first order of business here is to go ahead and finish up this roof. Let's go ahead and throw these weird dark bottomed glass pieces right there. I don't know what the deal with that is. I think it's an Optifine thing, but I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I like how it looks. Um, Let's see what we got. We got three blocks right there. I sort of want... How, how does the back of this look? This is going to be... Yeah, we can we can do something. We can do something like this here. Go ahead and knock these out and make this look like a tool chest or a, a, a tool rack sitting up on our back wall. Um, and then oh, I should have made a latch. Well, that's why we have all these wood and this workbench on us so that we can go ahead and build one of these. I know I have some of them sitting back in my bench, but I just don't feel like running all the way back there to grab them. And we'll go like this and. Probably continue right here. Do something like that. So you've got a little 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 workshop entrance here, and then I don't know, just like a light or something sitting in the corner, because why not? And then what's this missing? How about some torches on top of the walls here? Alright, so that's all good. Let's head behind the counter here, start making up some doors. all this out of the way, get our doors ready, and then start filling this all in like it's supposed to be. <clears throat> and do we even want a door? Let's put the door on this side of this one. All right? Yeah, so that lets us open up. We can pop in our boats and then head on to the outside world. Why don't we even light this up as well? Right there, right there. So does our boathouse need anything else? I'm not sure that it does. I think it's just about good here. I want to kind of step outside and look at it from this side. We've got the workbenches on this. I kind of wish the saw was on the other side, because what do we have over here? The pliers? Yep, just the pliers, sadly. And on this side, we've got the saw and the little... Whatever that is, I guess it's some sort of tiny little axe. I've never really known. Okay, so with that, we can just sort of cover that up with some wood so you don't notice it from this side. And even go so far as two. I think I only need two here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Gives us four stone or, or wood stairs. Do something like that to add some personality to the back of this building. Um, you as well, I think. There, and I got one piece of wood left. I do have one piece of wood left without having to break into my new, my new, um, um, what's it called? Wood supply. Not plank supply, but wood supply. And then right there. So now we've got some sort of whatever that is, but either way, it looks uh, like it just goes with the rest of the building. And we got our whole little walk onable boat dock region with our little parking, parkable boat region. So I think our boathouse is done, you guys. Uh, didn't have to put a whole lot of extra effort into it, not as much as I thought we would have to. But, uh, it is time to go move our boats over there, so let's go ahead and do that right now. Right after I put away a bunch of stuff for my inventory that I don't need anymore. Trap door we don't need, you can keep your wood. Put you right there, don't need the crafting table anymore. And same with the, the, the door here. And let's go, let's go move our boats into where they're supposed to be now. And, of course, I break it. <laughs> um, 
I think this is gonna have to go, to be honest, because I think this is what stopped me from being able to jump out of my boat correctly. Um, and that's what pushed it away and broke it. I don't think it'll look, you know, especially bad with this stuff missing. But I'm wondering if there is something else I can do to add personality to this side. Maybe some... Outside. You know what? It's good like it is. I think it's good like it is. Uh, if I mess with it too much, it's just going to look like there's too much going on with it. We need to get our melons at the ready. I don't want to mess with it too much because it'll... I don't, it's just a boathouse. It's supposed to be plain. I don't want it to be the most interesting thing on Muse Farms or spiders. They never get to survive. Alright, let's try this again. Round two with this new boat. And let's see if I can manage to not break this one. I'm hoping that's a yes. Pink sheep! Why'd you get down there, pink sheep? Alright. Alright, there we go. Get some full speed. Okay. Whew. That was dangerous. And I'm assuming I should be good if I crash into these walls, but I don't really feel like testing it. And I'm, uh, pretty... Good. I guess we still need to light the roof of this place, don't we? That can cause some problems. Alright, try this again. Ease our way in. Take it slow, take it slow. Do some really slow side steps here, and then right click. And yes, there we go. I'm standing, I'm walking. Perfect. So that's good. Zombie! Come down here. I want, I want to, uh, did you get down right here? I think you did. Good. Zombie. B, or is that a different zombie? I can't tell. Um, let's go ahead and climb this. Wah! Yep, no more zombie up here. Okay, so probably give this thing some, some uniform lighting here. So one, two, one, two, and then the same on this side. How about right there and there, and then right there and there. So that all looks gravy. We can see inside our boathouse here. Yay, it looks so interesting inside. It's missing something on the inside, though. What should we put here? I could go for some paintings, couldn't it? A couple... A couple too wide paintings on this side. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, just like some landscape paintings, I think. Like the the mountain, the blue mountain painting, and then... What else? Or we could do the two, the two pots. Those are my two favorite paintings, actually. Is the... One... Do I have any pre-made paintings? I thought I did. I didn't put them up here, did I? Hmm. Either I can't see them or I don't have them. Either way, they're not very expensive. So, let's go ahead and make a few more sticks here. Blam, blam. Got those all set. And we need wool. If you'd be so kind. Thank you, wool. And then, throw this down. Let's see if I can show you guys my favorite paintings. I'm really hoping I can. Why do they make those in two separate stacks? That is weird. Really did not need to be the case. Stick. Uh, okay. So this is going to take a few tries, I imagine. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, though. Uh, but I want to do, uh, I guess, this side. Nope. Yes, that one. Okay, so that's one of them. And then... Uh, and this! No. This one. No, not that one. Uh, it's close though, but it is the same one. This one! Yes, those are my, those are my two favorite paintings. And a little bit of an Easter egg here. A lot of people mentioned, um, on my, oh, which, which one is it? Transparent Mirrors and Hellgates video. My, one of my old, old videos. Um, that the two paintings were different, but I actually had it set up like this on purpose, um, because it's the exact same painting, except I wanted to see if anyone would notice that this, instead of being a potted plant, it's like a creeper outside the window, and you don't even know. Like, maybe this, maybe the creeper is behind that potted plant, and you just take the plant away, and the creeper's face is right there. That's how I like to imagine it, anyway. Maybe that's just, just as me. Um, but I got these paintings done, the boathouse is done. Um, we could build the lighthouse, but I think I'm going to end it a little bit early today so I can start doing some work on the... I should probably get rid of this, shouldn't I? So I can start getting to work on the mob tubes and stuff so that those should all be done by tomorrow's episode. And we'll go ahead and fade out here with this lovely sunrise. I will see you guys tomorrow.